All right, everyone, I'm going to try to run through this as quick as I can. So this is a short video. I don't want it to run too long. So if you're trying to get a soundboard or voice uh, changer to work with Helldivers 2, this is what you're going to do. All right, I'm going to be using Voice Meter, uh, Voice Mod Pro, and the Elgato Stream Deck. So go download Voice Meter Banana, whatever the most current version is as of today. If you're watching this video, mine is 2.1.1.1. And Voice Mod. If your soundboard does not have its own built-in uh, virtual cable while you're on the voice meter website, go to the little tab that has virtual cable, download that and install it. Restart your computer like voice meter and all that tells you to do. You need those uh, inputs and outputs to be working on your computer. So restart and then we'll continue on that. So um, uh, one of the guys that I play Helldivers 2 with, uh, Sue Dork, um, he was able to get this figured out um, over Easter while I was doing some family stuff. We were trying to figure this out. We just couldn't get to it. He was able to do it. Um, so he showed me after I updated my voice meter, and this is what we did. So as you can see on my screen right now, uh, voice mod uh, is running. So I have it onto my default uh, microphone and speakers that I want to use. So select them to whatever you want. All right. The next important thing is over here, uh, let me bring this up. We're gonna need both of these. So on your sound, you're gonna go to recording and on the bottom, you're going to see all of these nice inputs that voice meter put in. You're gonna select this to be uh, voice meter out, um, B1 as your default recording device. So default device, default communication, all right? That's all you gotta do. Do that and we're gonna move on. And then we're going to go to system sound volume mixer get to this by right clicking on your volume icon open volume mixer that will bring you into this so make sure your d default device is your headset and voice meter out b1 is your default in uh input device if it doesn't change for you if you want voice mod or your soundboard to work in discord uh, go into your discord sound settings change your mic to voice meter out b two boy two all right change it to that it's all you gotta do and i'll show you how to set that up um in voice meter all right which we're going to do right now so when you start at voice meter uh this box here isn't going to be up well i'll show you how to get to that and what we're going to do in there it's important so here all these are going to be unlisted you can right click and you can name them to what you want and then you're going to click on these and set up your microphone to what you need it to be all right, do that, all right? And you can pick through one of these if something doesn't sound good and you can uh, listen to it if you need to through these outputs here once we'll, once you set them up. I use Spotify for some other stuff, um, so ignore this. I'm not gonna cover it. It's in, an, you can look at in another video that someone else has done, it's done plenty, all right? So if you don't use Spotify, that's fine. Your soundboard may be here or it may be here depending on what you're doing. This is important to know where these are. Um, all right, so your soundboard, uh, again, I'm using voice mod. So my voice mod uh, virtual cable or audio device is set in here. Do that if you're using voice mod or uh, the um, cable output. If your soundboard does not use its own virtual device cable. All right. If it does use the one that it has for itself, it's last uh, issues for it not being compatible, uh, stuff like that. All right. Then change everything that you see here set it this way so your microphone b2 cable output oh sorry or cable output or your um microphone for your soundboard whatever it is um to b1 and then this should be default to a1 and b1 leave those the way it is and up here is your internal master clock i can't talk straight it's 4 30 in the morning actually it's almost five um, so, um, voice meter has its own audio device uh, that they have now. So you don't need a lot of stuff. You can look that up on voice meter and see what it does. Leave this the way it is. Um, I have a three set to my headset, uh, for monitoring. So do that. The next thing we're going to do is for voice mod, or if you're having problems with stuff crackling, um, go to menu system settings, change these bufferings, uh, settings, you're going to click on it, hit. Okay. It's going to come up with a list. Start around the middle. Um, if it goes away, the crackling and everything, and you can, again, you can hear this. 
if you need to through monitoring or in through voice mod. Um, just play with it until it's gone. I have it set to the highest because I haven't tinkered around with it yet. It worked there and I left it. All right. So the next thing to get this box open, it's important. This is one of the things that you're going to need. So you're going to go to menu, run macro buttons on voice meter start. Important. Click it. This box will come up. These will be all be blue. Right click on it. And it's going to bring this box up here. I'm going to have these uh, in the description uh, for you so you can copy and paste them. All right. So name this to whatever you want. Your keyboard shortcut should be whatever your Porsche talk is in game. Okay. That's important. This is how you're going to communicate via your mic to people in game. All right. So if it's default as caps lock, like it is in Hell Divers 2. Uh, do that. All right. So next, you're going to put these in strip zero B1 equals zero. And then this. So this is strip zero, strip one, strip two, and B1. So when you hit T, or for me, that is T, that's going to light up and it's going to turn on my in game mic. So zero, one, zero is binary, zero is off, one is on, zero is off. So off, basically pushing it down, letting it go. All right. So when I hit T, see here it lights up and it turns on my B1. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So it's uh, allowing me to talk in the game and it's putting a bunch of crap in here, but don't worry about that. I'm just going to hit cancel. If you want to work in discord again, you get, I have a two positions cause I have a modifier or, you know, so I have two, two buttons, control T. So you can change it to whatever you want. And here, this is important as well. Uh, it's different than the one over here for T. Um, I have mine on strip two cause it's zero one, two. That's where my soundboard is. B2 is your mic going into Discord. So this will allow your soundboard and your voice changer to come through. Again, this will be in the description. All right. Next, we're going to go into Hell Divers. All right. Um, and we'll see how it works in there. And so something we got to change in there right quick too. And again, if I hit Control T, if this will work, because I'm not clicked on it, right spot. Um, you'll see how B2 is lighting up. So long is that's lit up, it will go to Discord or whatever you want uh, it to go to, all right? So every time you push that button, that will light up, it'll turn off, turn on, you're basically muting it, that's all it is. Okay, so uh, here we are in Hell Divers. Oh, this is showing up, didn't mean that to be there, but we're gonna be using that in a minute anyway. So, <coughs> excuse me. So again, go to audio, set this to open mic. It's important, like again, um, people won't be able to hear you unless you push your keybind um, but you want it to be, people won't be able to hear you. All right. Don't worry about it. This is how the soundboard's going to work. It's through open mic. So once we're in here, you can see me talking. Nothing's coming through because my key bound is not held down. All right. So I'm going to bring this up along with the voice meter and the macro box. All right. So you see me talking here. Nothing's coming through. All right. I'm going to hold down T. You're going to see this light up and you're going to see B1 right here. Uh, do its thing. Okay. So here we are. Let's look down. You see me talking, blah, 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 blah. You're not going to hear me, obviously. All right. So it's working here. That's works. Okay. Let it go. Nothing's coming through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this. So you can see how, what I mean by nothing's going to come through. All right. There we go. So I'm holding this down. You can see this is going up and down. Nothing's coming through. It's not coming up. So that, that's, that works. All right. Next. So, if I hit a button, or I'm gonna hit the medic one here, uh, you're going to see this light up. All right, I'm gonna mute this again. Um, so you can see I'm not bullshitting. All right. Medic! Medic, medic! see? It's lighting up, you can see medic! it coming through. Allied destroyer has left squadron. See, all these other ones here. I'm in command, every mission's a suicide mission. These are just some of the ones I don't have everything set up yet. I'm still kind of going through. I got a bunch more on the next screen, but we're not going to go through that. But as you can see, it's working. So the other important thing um, is with voice mod is if you're going to use, um, or we're going to do this in Discord for that matter, if you're going to use your soundboard and the voice changer, you need to unmute yourself. Um, it's for it to come through. Um, if you don't, if you're talking, and I need to make sure I mute this in OBS because if not, you're going to hear me twice. So 
if I do this, I unmute this here, you can see it coming through. Oh, it's going because it's open mic. Remember, this is going through B1, which is the game. So it's open mic. Oh, I got a bunch of crap coming up, which I didn't want to do. So you can see me talking. So make sure, sure oh, excuse me, that your mic is muted. Unless you want to use the voice changer, then leave that on. Uh, the only thing I would suggest is muting your mic here so it doesn't go through uh, Discord so they're not hearing you twice. So you, like your teammates are in Discord together. Okay. Um, Actually, no, that won't. No, I get that backwards. Yeah, it won't matter to them. Uh, you can leave this the way it is. It, it won't matter because um, they'll just hear you normal. Okay. So that will be your voice changer and your thing. All right. So just leave this muted if you're not going to use the voice changer. Um, if you are going to use the voice changer in Discord, um, you're going to want to mute this because they'll hear your regular voice. And then when this is on, when you hit Control T, you use a voice changer, you're going to hear your normal voice and the voice changer. That's it. That's all you got to do. That should work. Anyway, um, that's it. So if you have any questions, uh, just leave it in a comment. Um, you know, Google, do that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, um, all that. If you need any help, let me know. I'll try to help you as best I can. Uh, I am on the Hal Divers 2 Discord under the same name as you can see on the screen, East Coast Gaming HFX. Just search me up in the members list on the top right hand corner of Discord. Let me know why you're messaging me um, because otherwise I'll just ignore you and probably block you thinking the spam. All right. And one other little tip if you don't know this, um, I got sued work with this the other day. Um, you control your friends. If you emote right here, um, and the emote with you, what will happen if it's not your ship, it'll say push E to return to your ship alone. If you emote here and they interact, it'll actually boot them back to their ship. I can't believe I got Sue Dirk with that the other day. He knows better. Nice.